Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. Today, find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, divergence, stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Bitcoin hourly time frame, the price went up by around 3.7% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 51,322. And the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI of 68 is located in the upper region, meaning that the price is being overbought and we can expect a comeback or for the price to remain on track for some time. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, the price went down after the bearish divergence, but then came quickly up again. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Jumping to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI of 68 is in the upper region which means that the price is being overbought and a rebound or a consolidation is possible. On the lookout for divergences in the 3 hourly time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, currently, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are very high, meaning that the crypto is being high light bought and a change in the trend can be expected or for it to remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI of 75 is in the upper region, which means that the price is being overbought and a rebound or a consolidation is possible. Looking for divergence in the daily time frame, there was a bearish divergence, but the price went to the upside, which was actually not expected. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.